What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Race. I'm pretty sure all of us love action-packed movies, but sometimes we wonder, is that really Jenna Ortega doing her stunt? Well, today, we'll talk about exactly that. Here are 10 actors and their stunt doubles. Even though they perform crucial roles in every movie, stuntmen never receive the same kind of celebrity treatment that Hollywood actors are accustomed to. They are paid a small fraction of what leading performers receive for taking bigger risks, and they are hardly ever acknowledged in public. Nothing can compare to the significance of stunt doubles, which are irreplaceable even in multi-million dollar movies when it comes to the incredible hand-to-hand -hand combat sequences, car crash performances, and explosion escape. These risks are at the core of what makes the movies thrilling, and this is exactly why it's important to talk about them today. 10. Harrison Ford and Vic Armstrong Temple of Doom Let's be real, some actors can be a bit smug because they are aware of how they can powerfully captivate audiences and help a movie become a top grosser. Harrison Ford, a seasoned actor, can be omitted from that list. From personal experience, he is aware of the significance Vic Armstrong, his stunt double, has played in helping him during the filming of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. He made a special effort to express his gratitude to Armstrong by sending him a picture of the two of them along with a brief note. Vic Armstrong covered for Harrison Ford when he got hurt and couldn't work the sequences, doing a few acting scenes for him while he recovered. Number 9. Johnny Depp and Tony Angelotto Pirates of the Caribbean You should not take a stuntman's job for granted. The action scenes you see in films created for the general public's enjoyment are the result of a lot of effort and frequently at the expense of someone else's life or limb. The stunt actors and actresses working behind the scenes are that someone else. As a stand-in for Johnny Depp, Tony, for instance, nearly lost his life while executing a human yo-yo performance. Tony nearly lost his life or suffered lasting injuries during the filming of the Pirates of the Caribbean which led him to file a lawsuit against Walt Disney for his accident. A big yikes for Disney. Number 8. Andrew Garfield and William Spencer – The Amazing Spider-Man 2 and 3 Not all heroes wear capes, and to help Spider-Man achieve all of his awesome stunts, we have William Spencer to thank for that. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 features a sequence in which Spidey is chasing a criminal across New York. The disguised hero casually strolls onto the street, reached out to grab the speeding postal truck, and is pulled out of the shot. It was performed in homage to a stun from the 1922 Buster Keaton short, Cops, using simply one stronghold instead of wires or computer graphics. In an interview with Yahoo Movies, William Spencer, who served as a stunt double for the scene in the Spider-Man suit, confirmed that everything you see on screen actually occurred on the set. Sometimes it takes up to three Spider-Men to make it appear right. In one scene from the follow-up, Spider-Man is hanging on to Alexi or the Rhino's semi-truck while he jumps in and out of the window to taunt the bad guy. All of that was accomplished practically as the truck traveled to New York City with Garfield on the outside and the stunt doubles Spencer and Iram clinging to the top. 7. Daniel Craig and Ben Cook – James Bond Casino Royale It's well known that Daniel Craig does his own tricks. He may not take on every one of them, but he does take on a large portion of them to make his acting appear more realistic. When questioned about it, he responded that he didn't exercise only to appear nice and remove his shirt. He's interested in discovering the unique training that stuntmen must undertake to make a living. One of the best Bond stunts ever was the one he pulled off while filming Casino Royale. When he's not leaping from one building to another, he may be seen rehearsing his doubles moves and learning from him. 6. Mark Ruffalo and Anthony Malarney MCU The facial characteristics of stuntmen may not be as startlingly comparable to the actors they attempt to impersonate. For a brief stunt double scenario, they might only require a haircut, a little makeup, and a small change in hair color. Anthony actually performed stunts for well-known stars like Jeremy Renner and George Clooney. But that's not all. Anthony has done a lot of work with Marvel. In addition, he also played a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent in Captain Marvel, a mobster in Spider-Man Far From Home, a guard in Marvel One-Shot Agent Carter, a police officer in one of the Cloak & Dagger episodes, and a soldier in WandaVision episode All-New Halloween Spooktacular. Anthony also played a variety of other characters and soldier in the previous On WandaVision episode. Plus, he performed stunts in Captain Marvel, The Winter Soldier, and WandaVision episode previously on. Other than that, he also served as a stunt double for Dylan Bruno in the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. episode Yes Men and, of course, Mark Ruffalo in The Avengers. 
five, Margot Robbie and Ingrid Kleining, Suicide Squad. In 2015, Margot Robbie began to smash that like button, but no, seriously, Margot Robbie established herself as a leading lady. She first portrayed Harley Quinn in Suicide Squad after playing Jane Carter Clayton in The Legend of Tarzan. She began working with her stunt double, Ingrid, during the filming of the later movie. Ingrid got her start in the field of stunts while she was performing 140 feet above the arena at the opening ceremony of the 2000 Olympics. She's also filled in for the Canadian actress Evangeline Lilly while she was filming The Hobbit and Ant-Man. She has the strength to operate a vehicle and can stay underwater for more than five minutes. 4. Chris Hemsworth and Bobby Holland Hanton, Thor Marvel Dealing with Thor and his hammer is difficult enough. Another star that blends in with the primary star would be even more difficult. Chris Hemsworth has had Bobby Holland Hanton as his backup actor for a long time. Bobby is regarded as a bad boy since, in contrast to Chris, he has a wild side. Both have been in the workforce for a while, and Bobby Holland Hanton has benefited some from his continued success. Why not then? Because he resembles Chris Hemsworth in terms of appearance and physique. A short look at his Instagram account reveals that he currently has 108,000 followers, and that number is rising. 3. Natasha Hopkins' stunt double of Kerry Washington, Zoe Kravitz, Halle Berry, and Beyonce One of the most diligent stunt women in the industry is Natasha Hopkins. She has acted as a backup for numerous African-American actresses in movies and musicians and music videos. She has collaborated with celebrities like Kerry Washington, Zoe Kravitz, Halle Berry and Beyonce, among others. According to her outstanding portfolio, Natasha Hopkins described the challenging nature of her work in an interview, saying that in order to look like the actress she doubles for a while, performing all the stunts safely and professionally, she must maintain her maximum muscle strength. Hopkins is aware that she must always be at the top of her game if she wants to land a role in the stunt business, because it's male-dominated and offers fewer options for women than other physically demanding professions. 2. Mark Wahlberg and Dan Mast Transformer now we have the incredible Mark Wahlberg from the Transformer and his stunt double, Dan Mast. Mast admitted that the hardest part of getting Wahlberg's recognizable body was actually finding a location to work out while filming when Business Insider questioned him about how he did it. We were staying in hotels so it's difficult to find a gym close by, said Mast. Once Mast located a quality gym, he began his mission to bulk up. His regimen involved adhering to hitting that subscribe button and ringing that notification bell or, as you know, a rigorous weightlifting program, an hour per day, five to six days per week, as well as a very monotonous but consistent diet that included lots of protein powders. The final touches, which included hair and makeup, are quite awesome. Number 1. Jenna Ortega and Jenny Ayumi Ambahu And last but not least, we have Hollywood's new it girl. Jenna Ortega studied German, took up the cello, stopped blinking in front of the camera, and even choreographed a now viral dance on her own Netflix's Wednesday. But it turns out that for some of the more daring scenes in the show, she even needed a stunt double. Enter Jenny, a dancer, stunt woman, and former Cirque du Soleil performer who assisted Ortega on set fully embodying Wednesday Adams. Although Ortega has said in the past that she performs her own stunts, this does not mean that she never uses stunt doubles. When Jenna arrived, Jenny posed with her in a series of images on her Instagram remarking about their actor tenacity while wearing matching costumes. Fans may see her skills as a stunt double in numerous Wednesday sequences, such as the well-known fencing match between Wednesday and Bianca, in her social media posts. Additionally, Jenny is seen being tackled to avoid a 200-kilogram stone gargoyle, tumbling off a dumb waiter with Emma Myers, aka Enid, and being smacked on a homemade tree trunk while being high in the air. I sure would want a stunt double, you know, just for the fun of it all. But hey, until I get my next sign action contract, I'll just stick to these videos. Check out these videos next.